Namaste angels. I'm doing a client reading and she would be happy to know that I was doing it at 1010 because every time I post something about 1010, to which I almost changed my name, by the way, um, she says that it reminds her of John 1010, which is um, the devil comes to destroy and I come so that you may have everlasting life. So anyway, let's get into it on that note. Um, if this is going to be mostly, she doesn't want to love. I'm going to try to use all the time toward career and finances. Um, it looks good so far. We're starting with windfall of abundance. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms. Some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. Um, the same was sort of in the cards, finances, career, positivity was in the cards for the feminine in general for the 13th, um, which I posted. It's my Patreon reading, which is like the private one that I do for my Patreon subscribers. I have Patreon sponsors and Patreon subscribers. My Patreon subscribers, um, one of the things to which they subscribe is a daily video from me. And I shared the one that I did for the 13th publicly. And so for the feminine in general, there's abundance. And then it looks like she's getting a, a personal message about that also. So opening to exercise to increase your energy and manifestation ability. So she definitely is into that, um, into exercise. The key to manifesting quickly is to have high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. No worries in that regard when it comes to her. Windfall of abundance and opening to the power of prayer, which, I mean, I just told you that when I say 1010, she mentions Don Chen 10. Obviously, she's into prayer and fit. she has faith. Oh. There goes Raphael. Um, so this is perfect for her too. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance that God gives you in response to those prayers. And again, opposite that we have windfall of abundance. And conscious consumer, you have the power to heal and to help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Windfall of abundance. I think she got the same card the last time I looked at abundance cards for her. Um, cause I remember talking, I believe it was her about like living minimalist living like with very few items in your house. Uh, anyway, opening to moonlighting and I'm pretty sure she got this one too. It's, it's been a while, but I don't know. I'm remembering her, her reading. I think you can start working on your dream career part time while keeping your other job to pay your bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. When full of abundance and sever your vows of poverty. This is important. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all efforts that these vows will be undone, all effects rather of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions. When full of abundance. And organize for success. Don't let the word organize intimidate you as it's simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances also will help you to know and plan your next action steps. The overall energy, however, is detox your friendships. And I, I feel that this could be somebody at her current place of employment 
although I don't know anybody there. I don't, you know, I don't know her relationships with anybody there. I just, as soon as I went to put the card forth, um, I just felt that it was somebody there. It was like a fake person, a fake friend. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about the associations, your associations and your relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Now, how do you avoid that if, if the person is being fake and you think they're decent? I don't, you know, it's about intuition. If you've had a feeling about anybody at your office, I'm going to say leave them alone. All right, so let's um, begin here with your current energy. The recent past, near future, higher self, any blocks to this career abundance that you need to work on. Um, other efforts you can make on your own behalf, more advice from the universe and like the, particularly what the universe, um, is wanting to help you with, but you have to assert uh, like a first affirm it, resolve to committing to this and the outcome. So you here, let go of guilt. All right. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for all that you are. Learn and grow from any past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. So if you're holding on to anything from the past um, that, for which you feel responsible, and that's something that you need to release. Recent past. the severing of the vows of poverty. So this could have come with prayer. Um, you may, I'm sure you've done praying on your own. Like I said, I'm, I know that you're a person or I believe you to be a person who does. Um, and I've prayed over you guys a few times. And so we've, you know, maybe worked on this in the past. Also with the recent um, retrogrades, some of this has been done too. So again, this is about it's a reminder that there's not a need to suffer through life. It doesn't, this doesn't have to be hard. Um, not that it will necessarily be, um, there's balance needed in this area. The fact that we don't want to be greedy, um, or to covet what's not meant for us or to be, um, you know, gluttonous or anything like that does not mean that we're meant to lack. You know, we definitely have to find the reasonable balance in the middle where all our needs are met because the universe wants to cover all your needs. Again, that's something that we have to like affirm, um, resolve to be done for us. And that's how it is. And then like, keep that, that, keep that energy and that mindset that that's how your life is going to go. Even when things look funky, you say, well, that's not going to, it's not going to turn out funky. It doesn't look good now, but it's not going to turn out funky because that's not how my life goes. You know, I'm blessed in my life. Everything always works out and then it will, you know, um, near future. Ah, that's what I was talking about. Abundance mindset. Exactly. So in the near future, the, the, um, any thoughts of, of poverty, and um, vows that you have not yet suffered, you will have. And we're moving into this new mindset instead. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something that you already have in the present moment. And then that is what you will experience. So just what I was just saying, sometimes I should just shut up and, and turn over the cards and <laughs> let them speak. Um, higher self. Attracting, not chasing. Anything or anyone that you chase after will run the other way. So let's say you want financial blessing, new career move, you know, new home, new living situation. You have something in your mind that you really, really want. It is good to, again, have faith and focus on it in a healthy way that, you know, the universe of God is going to bless me with 
what I'm due, what I deserve, some of what I want. I just have to remain positive that I get this. I might want a specific thing, but if I overly focus too specifically on that one thing, I could be limiting myself. Maybe I want a house and I'm saying I want this house, but God wants to give me a house that's this big. And so if we become overly obsessed and again, specific with one thing, then we can push the energy away. If there is something specific that we want, we just need to like release that into the universe. Let the universe know that that's what we want and not like overly obsess about it. Even if it is something that we want a lot, we want badly. Um, again, it's, just, it's about faith that things go our way because they do. And, you know, just because they're supposed to, and that's it. Things go my way. I shall, you know, have nothing but goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And remember that. And any time that you begin to slip into this other mindset, other than one of abundance and attracting positivity towards you because that's what you're putting out, tell yourself that again. Say it out loud if you have to. Did I finish telling you about this? The fears underlying chasing energy are what force things away. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. So yes, um, blocks that you've been facing. There's a need to do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you've been divinely guided to take. So you dream, you pray, you ask, and you get a sign. You start seeing a bunch of synchronicities. You feel pushes, urges, nudges, but then you don't do anything. That's, you know, prayer without works is dead is what's, what's said about that. That's what this is referring to. A need to actually follow through on the guidance. Don't get scared at that last minute. And that's not to chastise you because we can, we're all, you know, we've all been guilty of that. And we're all capable of that. Like, you know, we're getting up to the, we get right up to the moment, whether it's career or relationships, anything we've been asking for. We get right there and then that's where the fear comes in and then we don't actually follow through. But what if I didn't really feel that? What if I didn't really feel that I'm supposed to, you know, call or go, you know, see my friend or my mate or my love interest, you know, what if I'm just, I just, you know, like hallucinated that, or I'm imagining that because it's something that I want and I better not. And then we don't follow through. That's what this is talking about. What else can you do for yourself? Release resentments about money. Yes. The money system of the world can seem upsetting. But holding on to resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. So it's another part of the same sort of energy of, you know, like the rejecting by not having the right energy. So that's what you're going to work, want to work on most. But again, this is in that near future um, position. So I think you're going to see this and you're going to take heed and you will work on that. Instead of the resentments, see money as a tool that you can use to better the world. And this will help you to shift into a position where you're instead attracting and um, support and golden opportunities for yourself. What else is in your hands to do for yourself? Speaking words of abundance over your life, thinking them, speaking them. I talked about this, I think, in that same reading for the 13th. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you will attract for yourself and others. What the universe wants to help you with that you can affirm to conscious consumer. You have the power to heal and to help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethical and environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. Again, I think this popped up in your other reading too. Um, so 
and I don't see you not doing this. Um, but maybe you have to be more conscious, even more conscious than you already are about being a conscious con consumer. Um, and really ceasing to patronize certain things that, because that goes, with, it's sitting here right on top of this, do the work too. That goes along with following the guidance. Maybe there is something um, that you have not eliminated from you know, your environment, your sphere, from the last time still, that if you do, it will help to um, open up this flow of abundance because again, it shows the universe that you are not just speaking words, um, you're actually doing the work. It's prayer with work and the outcome. Obstacles and blocks lifted. Isn't that an awesome outcome? I don't think we could have done any better than that. All your good personal work and positive energy shift overcome previous obstacles and blocks will lift it away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that the flow of abundance continues. I'm going to use these again in a minute, but at first I want to see if we can, if there's any scenarios or anything like at work, maybe that you need to know about or surrounding your work. Love may also show up here too. I have to warn you because I'm using the hashtag creepy deck and there are cards related to love in here. Um, but we're beginning with short term, like heartbreak, disappointment, temp very something very temporary, a temporary energy of it's maybe delay again, disappointment could be heartbreak. I don't really feel that though. I feel that it's something more like disappointment and opening to true love. <laughs> um, that could be related to work too, though, I'm, is what I'm getting. Actually, I'm laughing because you don't, you don't want the romance necessarily, but, um, you know, the job that you love, a job with which you are in love with something about which you are passionate. You're getting to, you, you know, getting to do what you truly love for a living. Um, but I'm opening to brunette female, which represents a karmic energy for me that could very well be an actual female. Maybe this is that friend that I was feeling like around your work, um, friend, friend of me. Um, this, because it could actually be an actual person. And again, actually an actual female, even more so, more specifically. And um, yeah, not not a necessarily nice person. They may be at the hand of this. They may have something to do with this delay or disappointment. It can also be an, an, an energy too. It doesn't have to be an actual person. Um, an energy that causes this opening to courting man. short-term heartache. And this is the karmic male energy in this deck for me. Since represent the sign of Capricorn, which is about restricting, um, it's ruled by Saturn, which is also about restriction, feeling limited, stuck, um, unable to, you know, make the choices and moves that you want to, as if it's up to something or someone else. That um, karmic female, whereas the male is, tends to be a Capricorn, um, if it's a particular zodiac sign, that karmic female is often um, a Cancer or a Leo or like a Cancer Leo Cuspian, more likely. Um, and then also over the past probably like three or four weeks, I've been feeling Taurus of the Earth signs too. And it's turned up in quite a few of my readings that she's been this person um, that sort of tries to control people by the purse strings. Um, tries to manipulate people, but often like as it's related to money, I was seeing it a lot more coming up in the masculine, but it could be you know applying to you in the feminine energy also. Like for example, with the masculine, um, 
let's say a girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, the mother of his child that's the, with whom he's not with, like just really manipulating him with the money, using the money as something to um, sort of be a thorn in his side and not be a nice person um, to him. I'm having trouble explaining it. Hopefully it'll, it'll get better. I don't want to, I want to go on with this. I'm going to go ahead and cut here. And dark male, which is the representation of the divine masculine for me in this deck. This is getting interesting. I am feeling that these characters are still, though, um, even the divine masculine one, more connected to career. Like the angels are trying to keep in that theme um, <laughs> this time rather than, you know, sway into love. And that, for example, the divine masculine is representing somebody who is genuine, could actually be a male. Um, at your office, maybe there's somebody that can be instrumental in helping like this person is for real when they deal with you. They're not bullshitting you. But again, there's a female, um, Cancer, Leo, Taurus, that probably tries to pretend that she is a friend or that she is, you know, that she too is genuinely nice. Um, she is not. She's not. She's manipulative. There may be also a male um, who, not necessarily not nice, but help, tries to like keep you, stifle your growth, tries to stifle your growth. And he may be an earth sign as well, possibly a Capricorn. This again will be you and the recent past and the near future. And your higher self blocks what you can do basically help yourself here, here, and here. Um, this too, but this one is more um, what the universe wants to help you with and will help you with. You just have to like affirm, um, you know, and resolve to doing this thing and then the outcome. So where are you? Fun times. So living life, having a good time, enjoying life. We're just um, nearing the end of the official end of summer. We've had the um, society's end, like with Labor Day, right? The traditional end. We're having the we're nearing the official end. That's the twenty first. I think you and I talked about the twenty first recently. You asked me what the twenty first was. I said the last day of summer. Um, so yeah, that's coming up in just next week. So, but living life thus far, you know, having a good time, maybe going out to dinner, dancing. I don't know, enjoy parties, socializing. It's been a nice season. All right. So recent past also. new love you may have fallen in love with something that you want to do um, a new passion that you want to pursue but I do again feel that the angels are keeping with the career theme this time and the work and finances that this is related to something that you can do that you enjoy doing near future Mature woman. So like handling your business. And this is being very much in your own element as a Leo. Uh, Leo is a mature sign. It is, um, you know, well, fairly mature at least. <laughs> Maybe not as mature as like some of the other ones. I'm thinking about some of the ones that really act like old. Um, and that wouldn't be Leo. Leo's into fun times. Um, but yeah, it's in your own element as a fixed sign. Mature woman. This is you. Handling your business, basically. Near future. Higher self. 
travel, moving forward. This could be changing career paths, changing jobs, um, could involve literal travel, business trips or something. could be metaphoric you can and it's higher self too so this could be like where your mind is at like wanting a desire to move ahead move forward yeah kind of like the eight of cups you know that, that that desire to move on and looking for a higher meaning to life like this got a you know i've got to have a better or larger purpose than what i'm doing right now i know i do and I need to like pursue that. That's what this is. Um, blocks to that. Some funky people. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I was moved to do this. Because I didn't have these cards sitting here initially. I had them like over. I mean, I had them out on my table, but they're on the other side. And I was just like, I got to see if there's anything going on there. Yeah. So... Now, in this, in this picture, there's two gentlemen, and that's possible, too. I mean, the cards aren't everything, and they're not gender-specific. They're, they're, you know, they're just what they are, and I use them to represent different things. It's just that there's, there's some people that are not... There's, some, there's somebody there that really wants to help you move forward um, or does have your best interests at heart, at least as it relates to, that, to where you work now um, and what you do now. The current position and then there are people that are disingenuous there too what can you do here dating queen you've got options you've got options you can interview you can maybe move around the company that you're at you can explore other things the moonlighting and you know work you know moonlighting on your own company or your own interests at another company or whatever and keep your job. This is representing all your options. It's also coming through very three of fire, um, which is your element also. The three of fire is about working toward a goal, um, but also realizing that, you know, victory is not that far off. Like we can see our ship is going to come in. It's not, you know, about to dock yet. So it may require some, some patience, but we can see it's nearing. It's nearing. There's just some, a little more work that we have to do. And that's what this is too. And it's about abundance also, the three of, of fire. And it's about um, creating abundance, creating abundance for ourselves, of finding, coming up with ways that we can you know, be creative about how we manifest abundance by pursuing our passions. Also, um, what else can you do here? Yeah, it's wanting you to go after your true love. Do what you enjoy doing. Do what you love doing, wherever that is and whatever that is. And if that allows you to, you know, work more than one job, then do that. If that means you need to move forward, that's what you're guided to do. If you feel you can't move forward just yet, you know, for financial reasons or other reasons, then moonlight. All right, those are all your options. You may have more that we haven't considered yet. What, are, what can you do that the universe wants to help you with, wants you to do? Fair male. Now, even though this is that Capricorn one, I'm feeling more than one thing here. The first thing I'm feeling is that this fair male is literal. The, the guy that's genuine, I don't know if you maybe are not sure if you can trust him. Like you want to and you're not sure if you can. Um, you can. And that's the first thing I'm feeling. Like, go with the fair male. <laughs> go with the fair male. Trust the fair male uh, of this party of three here at least um but also it's saying to you know to break free where you're feeling restricted where you're feeling stuck unstick yourself because you're not really a lot of it is attached to fear you know 
it's a lot of the, a lot of those things when we feel stuck is because there's some sort of fear involved. So unstick yourself. And the universe will help you if you affirm to doing it. If you're willing to take the leap of faith, take the risk. And the outcome here. Money, 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 money. <laughs> it works out. Okay. <laughs> Again, what better outcome could we have had? And I said I wanted to use these again, so I'm just going to give them a little shuffle. But opening to partnership. This, too, can be related to work. Maybe there's somebody um, who is either going to be some sort of investor, um, some sort of support for you. Or, again, this could be, this could represent the person. I keep saying man, it doesn't have to be a man. But this could represent the person who is in your corner, you know, and it, it does support you. That could be a partnership, too. Um, or it could be more literal entering a partnership, whether it's a, a full active partner or something like you're running something and they're in the background or they're an investor or support, you know, well, there's many different ways this can, this a partnership can be formed. But whatever it is, the universe guides you to allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and as well as your career. And both parties benefit as a result. So some love could happen on the side, you know, also. Um, but this will also be about your business endeavors. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. That's this person that's connected to, I think, again, work you already do. Or is somebody at your job or something. And they are legit. They are genuine. Again, it's saying also release resentments about money. You got this before, right? Yes. Release resentments about money. Exercise to increase your energy. You got that before. You're getting the same cards over and over. On the positive side, I don't have to read them again. Exercise, attracting, not chasing. Attracting, not chasing. Oh, we haven't seen this one. Pay yourself first. Make yourself the most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have a savings to invest in your present and your future. Pay yourself first. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. Overall energy is block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and your working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize this. Okay. Speaking of the Eight of water that I mentioned with the travel card, wanting to move on to something that was, you know, of a higher purpose and, and really, you know, put your talents to work somewhere. That's what this card is. The eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. Up into the seven of earth, seeds well planted. There may be a temporary pause in action that could be this could be connected to that temporary disappointment. You know, like you're feeling like, oh, nothing's happening. I'm so I'm disappointed. But it, that's don't do that now because we're seeing this. That's unnecessary worry. Seven of Earth and the moon. So stuff going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. 
There could be secrets. People could be gossiping, remember like that party of three. Um, there could be all kinds of stuff that you don't know everything. But what you do know or what you're supposed to know, what the universe wants you to know is that you can still move forward fearlessly. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Just like I was just saying with that top card, they want you to unstick yourself by letting go of fear. Um, the moon, by the way, represents the sign of Pisces or um, cancer. It could be Scorpio too, any water sign, but it represents the sign of Pisces directly in the tarot. And then Earth's moon is the ruler of the sign of cancer. So cancer is connected to the moon too. And it can have, it can, the moon in the tarot can also be connected to, in general, um, you know, water signs, period. So that's that. The moon and the nine of fire. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. This is a card of perseverance. It's saying even where you don't know what's going on, you don't know everything, you don't, you know, you're not sure. Follow your guidance and keep moving forward. And speaking of parties of three and the sign of Taurus, it is Major Arcana card number three, the Empress, which represents the sign of Taurus, Libra, Gemini, because it represents the planet Venus. And so those are the signs that she rules. Lavish abundance. Give birth to your dreams. Nurture yourself and others. But again, this could be saying opposite the moon, there's something that you don't know about maybe a Taurus, Libra, or Gemini. And there's something that you don't know about what's going on the, behind the scenes with, as it relates to Venus and what she's doing in your life um, as far as abundance. Venus actually the ruler of abundance in all forms, basically, because she's the, the planet and goddess of both love and money. moon and the night of air intelligent decisive idealistic and tireless events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options so you can come up with creative solutions the night of air is a gemini libra or aquarius or someone likened to those traits or attributes and actually when the night of air shows up typically it there's a decision that has to be made or you're awaiting a decision i'm gonna cut it was the moon again. And it is Major Arcana card, Release or Death with Archangel Azrael. It's the end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. It's time to move on. Um, death represents the sign of Scorpio in the tarot. And where there is death, where is it? there's an ending, um, there's always a new beginning. So we're moving into a new space. Overall energy is the three of earth. <laughs> it's funny because the three of earth could have something to do with a party of three, um, of course, as a three. And maybe specifically at work or some sort of relationship that you have going on at work with another person or two, you know, two other people some sort of group project at work. Um, but as it relates to abundance, it's about abundance that you have earned. So it's promotion, bonus, raise, elevation, accolades, recognition, um, because you're due it, because you earned it. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. For fire, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, and the successful completion of a project. So this is something that is bringing you joy. Um, it can have to do with a contract that you sign, uh, that you enter, some sort of commitment that you enter. 
um, a new home or workspace or feeling that you are at home and at peace somewhere, you know, even if it's not an actual home, feeling content. Surrounded by the night of air, intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tireless, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options so you can come up with creative solutions. Again, the night of air is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and tends to show up when there's a decision that has to be made or you're awaiting a decision. Subconscious is major arcana card, the dreamer or the fool, zero, with Archangel Metatron in this deck. Um, in this particular deck, this card tends to represent the planet Mercury for me, ruler of Gemini. Okay, so the, this Knight of Air, Gemini um, and Virgo. Mercury, which is currently located in Virgo, actually. So could be working on your finance. He, the ruler could be working on the finances there for you. Speaking of Venus, however, crowning your feminine side is Major Arcana card Justice, number eight, which represents the planet Venus, the sign of Libra, which she rules. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. This could be about your just do, things finally going your way, maybe again, a legal situation or some sort of contract or commitment into which you're entering. Maybe a decision has to be made about it, whether or not you're going to go forward. Maybe you're awaiting a decision as, as it with regard to whether it's going to be offered to you, that decision may be coming from a male specifically or masculine energy specifically. He, you know, can sort of offer you this opportunity to be really at peace and abundant and content with what you're doing and happy. He might be in a position like that. Um, hmm. But surrounding you on the feminine side is this five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. And I think this is the people that I was feeling with, you know, at least that one woman, um, if not both people that I was feeling at the office. And, you know, somebody trying to throw like a monkey wrench in. Five of fire can also be about action for me, positivity, Mars, you know, like it's time for you to get up and go and by any means necessary. And that, that may be the case here too, but I, I think it's more um, literal this time that it's, it's conflict. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And it's sitting here atop the five of air as well. Um, currently Mars is located in Aquarius. So now we have these two energies that are probably representing Mars showing up in the form of fives, which are about conflict. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from this situation and view everyone's motives. So this could be you do, just going through some mental anguish um, and not wanting to make a wrong choice or do the wrong thing in this position, thankfully. Um, and that, cause that may help you to avoid getting into any drama here. Crowning. It's the king of air, brilliant, impartial, professional, and diplomatic. This could be that guy that I said is genuine. Maybe he's an air sign, a direct air sign. Um, and sitting here next to Justin, maybe he's specifically a Libra on top of that. Um, but somebody that's diplomatic, again, and they, they're, they're a fair person. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice and balance mental and emotional considerations. The, you have somebody that you can talk to who's going to be keep it real with you. Um, and here is this energy of fear and being stuck and whatnot again, showing up in, this time in the form of the eight of air. And it's sitting next to the five of air. So again, I think this is mental anguish, um, possibly about whether or not to take a leap of faith. It's very Capricorn-like, even though it's an air card. It, it's very the devil in the tarot-like for me, this card. Um, again, you got to unstick yourself. At the heart of the matter... Major Arcana card, Unity, which is the High Priest or the Hierophant. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. The Hierophant represents the sign of Taurus. So here we go again with that. And it's also about um, our surroundings. It can be about contracts, signing important papers, um, entering commitments, even marriage. Um, but it can also be about our environment with whom, what, and where we are surrounding ourselves and the need to change that to something that better fits our vibration, right? 
aligns with us and our higher purpose, our new purpose maybe that we found. Like this doesn't fit in my life anymore, so I have to make some changes. Further advice from the hashtag creepy deck, it's this woman. Yeah, we, we gotta, I'm sure you know who she is. Mature man. Um, this person is a boss, uh, like a, an authority, a father figure. It could be the same person that the king of air is. Um, and then again, I think he wants to help, not hinder. From the Angels of Abundance, successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Don't allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into a reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. Raise or promotion, told you. Congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. From the angels um, the, in general, it is the lovers, major arcana card, the lovers would represent the sign of Gemini. Again, this person may be an air sign, a, a Libra, a Gemini, it can be Aquarius too. That's where Mars is again. Uh, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. The lovers is about the need to make a decision or the fact that you're awaiting a decision similar to the night of air. And a lot of times it's a decision that is our heart versus our head when it's the lovers showing up. But lastly, an offer to you that's going to make you happy, emotionally happy, bring you joy. Um, an offer, you know, of, of love or, you know, that brings, makes you feel love and emotion. Intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly is the page of involved again. Um, cancer or Scorpio, a new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Also, you have heightened psychic abilities. This can be a relationship with a new, you know, work experience, career choice, promotion. It's all good, though. I think be positive, positive things are coming to you. I hope you enjoy your reading. Namaste.